Hi, I'm Dr. Gabriela Olivares. And I'm Dr. Christian Hernandez. And we're here to educate you today about myopia control. Myopia, also known as nearsightedness, is the inability to see at long distances. By 2050, it is estimated that nearly 5 billion people worldwide will develop myopia compared to 2 billion in 2010. But this goes way beyond just not seeing clearly, because people with myopia are at risk for different retinal disorders such as retinopathy, maculopathy, and vision impairment. The rise in myopia has brought about a lot of public awareness and has sparked a huge interest in ways to control its progression. Known risk factors for myopia include having parents that are myopic, being of a certain ethnicity, and other environmental influences. The treatment options that we'll discuss today are not meant to cure myopia, but rather slow its progression. The first form of treatment is with orthokeratology lenses, which are hard contact lenses that are worn overnight to temporarily reduce the amount of myopia during the day. The child removes the contact lens in the morning and they are able to go about their day without any glasses or vision correction. The gentle pressure of the lens on the eye molds the cornea in a way that it corrects for the myopia, lasting all day, but then the vision comes back at night. The second form of myopia control is with multifocal soft contact lenses. These lenses contain two or more powers built into them. Due to their design, they can slow the progression of nearsightedness by focusing light rays in the periphery of the eye differently than a standard contact lens would. Another form of treatment that has been growing in popularity is with a prescription drop called atropine, which dilates the pupil temporarily and is instilled into the eye before bedtime. This limits the abilities of the eye to focus more than it should. Most of the effects are not noticed by the child. Lastly, bifocal or progressive glasses can help with myopia control. This method may not be the primary way of, tr of treating nearsightedness, but it can still be effective. Myopia is becoming a public health concern due to the amount of vision impairment that it can cause and its related ocular problems. With so many new options to slow down the progression, it's important for you to speak to your eye doctor to see which method and which option is best for your child.